What's up, Gabriel Streamcast guy here, and about an hour ago, Capcom just randomly dropped a sizable demo for Resident Evil Village, which is also being called RE8, on the PlayStation 5. Now, currently, this is a PS5 exclusive demo, but I had a chance to install it and beat it, and I just wanted to do some brutally honest, off-the-cuff thoughts. This is unscripted, but it's just so good, I had to talk about it. So be sure, if you haven't already, like this video, and be sure to subscribe to the channel, because I am going to be doing a lot more Resident Evil coverage soon. Now let's talk about what this demo is and why it is a little bit confusing. Now the biggest thing about this is that the demo technically is not a slice of the game itself, mainly because this character is just being called the Maiden. In the demo itself, you're locked in a dungeon filled with a bunch of monsters and spooky stuff and you have to try and creep your way out, solving puzzles and getting outdoors as quickly as possible before you die. But here's the thing, in the main game, we're we're going to be playing as Ethan Winters. The guy from Resident Evil 7 is, of course, the hero of Resident Evil 8. This character does not have a name. We don't know who she is, we don't even know what's going on, but it seems like she's stuck inside this castle at some points before the main events of the game itself take place. And while you're going through this, you really get a chance to see, more than anything, the scale of Resident Evil Village. Now, I actually think that one of the things that was a little bit of a drawback to Resident Evil 7 was the fact that it was a little bit claustrophobic. You did really kind of get the feeling that you were locked indoors and that there wasn't really much you could do to escape. And while that was cool, I kind of wanted it to be bigger. I kind of wanted to see a chance to see the Resident Evil engine, which is just so good at making these photorealistic graphics. I kind of wanted to see it expanded. Well, it seems like this game, this demo itself, is really kind of conveying the fact that the game is going to be enormous. Now let's talk about the graphics first, because definitely the major focus of this demo itself is that it is a technical showcase. It's a chance to show what next-gen spooky horror is actually going to look like. I mean, there's no other way to put this. It is amazing. It's freaking stunning. It's truly jaw-dropping to see the deep shadows, the gore, the pools of blood and stuff. Like, everything in this game is just so freaking good-looking, and I am completely blown away by the fact that they managed to do this. It is just an engine that makes everything look so great, like from the times where I'm staring at little tiny ornate structures on the walls, to gold crests, or even when I was walking past a fireplace, seeing the little crackle of wood and flames and stuff. Like, this is a very, very visually impressive treat for the eyes. Now, part of the reason I'm talking so much about graphics is because in this demo, there is no combat. There's zero. You can't block. You can't pick up a sword. There's no shotguns or laser rifles or crossbows. There is nothing in this game. Now, that sounds like a drawback, but I think that this is for a specific reason, which is that while playing this demo, there's a lot of notes. There's a lot of times where people are giving you hints and breadcrumbs to try and help you escape. And while I was going around, I decided to read all of them, of course, because I'm a freaking lore nerd. And while I was reading these, I noticed that some of them were dated 1958 and they were written kind of in a current tense. It's not like they were ancient paperwork I found. So I think that this is taking place like 60 or 70 years before the beginning of Resident Evil Village itself. And it's kind of setting up the fact that these enemies we're facing, they are some old school bad guys. These people seem to be vampires. And you could tell that because while you're walking around, there's goblets of blood. There is pools of macabre. At one point I saw a cask, which I don't know if you know that word, but it basically means like a, a jug of a... Uh, of wine, except there's a human hand twitching out of it. Like, this is a human meat farm. This is where the vampires, they have so much power and so much infinite freaking wealth in this part of the world, they're just harvesting people like animals. Like, one of the notes I found, this is completely off topic, one of the notes I found was about keeping sick animals alive. Like, clearly they're locking humans up and draining them and then giving them enough pharmaceuticals to keep them alive so their wounds will heal up and they drain them again. Like, it's gross, it's crazy, and it just looks so freaking good. So the major focus of this is, of course, the puzzles itself, and all of them are pretty straightforward. Like, I'm somebody that's played literally every single Resident Evil game that was ever translated into English. I've even done the terrible Game Boy Color game, Resident Evil Gaiden. 
they are very, very good. So maybe it's just that I have such an understanding of Resident Evil puzzles, I'm no longer blown away by them, but this is one that has very, very straightforward stuff, really A to B. You have a key, you put it in a lock. You have a torch, that means you need to burn some rope. Or, oh man, you found a key that has an eyeball on it, well, you need to pop the eyeball off and put it in this statue's head. It's very, very straightforward, but it also gives you a chance to just kind of admire your surroundings. This demo is probably going to be the first of many. So back in the day when we were getting hyped for Resident Evil 7, there were a series of demos very much like this. They started out with no combat, then we had a little bit more combat, and over time the demo itself updated until the game came out. This is a growing and expanding teaser for the game, which we now know is coming out May 7th, which, you know, nobody cares, but that's my freaking birthday, baby. So I'm going to be playing this game and reviewing this game on my birthday, and I'm just so excited about it. This demo is pretty tiny. It took me about 20 minutes taking my time and really exploring, looking at all the cool graphics and stuff. This is a short demo, but it really gave me a chance to see just how big and expansive this seems to be. It seems like there's going to be multiple areas, basements, dungeons, ceilings, roofs, courtyards, like already, I am just ready for Resident Evil Village. Now you may be wondering for yourself, like Dreamcast guy, do we really see the villains of this game? Do we get a chance to spot the evil vampire ladies that have been teased here and there in the trailers? Well, yes, they do actually make an appearance. At least two of them do. You see one on a staircase briefly and she hunts you for a short time, which is incredibly scary because it's a vampire. And then at the very end, you're grabbed by the main bad guy and she eats you. So what are you going to do? But this is cool to me. I think everything about this demo is good, but I do wish it had a little bit of combat. I do wish we had a chance to see how the gunplay works, or I think part of the reason they didn't do this is because this is probably going to turn out to be an ancient flashback. This is like a time period where people only have swords and you can't exactly pull out a shotgun and blast some dynamite. But I want to see more of the game itself. This is a good demo. I also kind of wish that it was on other platforms. I feel bad that my friends who only have an Xbox, you're not going to be able to play this, at least not today. But hopefully we see more of the game very, very soon. What do you think about it? Have you had a chance to install the demo yourself? Have you had a chance to play it and beat it and explore it? Tell me what you think. If you enjoyed this video, once again, please smash that like button. It really does help. Subscribe if you haven't already. And do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. That vampire lady has some really big booba. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.